Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box to the Technical Trader. It's uh, Thursday, the 29th of April. These are the charts of the day. Um, today, starting off with Federal Agricultural Mortgage AGM, which has been flying of late. Take a look at this chart. Ba base salary was broken in mid-March. Stock started off in, in the $8 range and is now nearly 23, almost tripled in about five weeks. Fantastic move. And yet momentum is strong enough that it continues to motor forward. There is resistance up in this zone going back. Uh, let's take a quick look at it. You'll see back at, at these lows back in here. Um, and it's top of the channel, so you may see uh, some hesitancy or even backing off in this, in this zone. Um, but with momentum the way it is, we'll uh, look forward to see if we can get this stock to the next target up in the mid-30s. Uh, that's a long way from here, but with the uh, type of momentum this has, it, it could very well make it up there. Big day today for Akamai, AKAM, which we've been following for a year now. This stock, uh, which is on our Fab 40 list last year, uh, continues to move higher in a very strong rising channel. Top of, top of that channel right now looks like a, was hit today uh, with a big spike up with after strong earnings and upgrades. It's up 645 today with a breakaway gap. Should it break through this zone here, we could see AKM uh, making further price progress. Now, there's also lateral price resistance in this zone right up near here. So you may see just a little bit higher levels, but uh, we could have problems um, and the stock could back off and consolidate. However, next target beyond here is at the 07 high, late 07 highs in uh, up around the $50 level. Brunswick Cor Corp has been on a tear in the last uh, year, going from 2 to 22. Um, and even though the angle of the sentence had slowed, it spiked up today and jumped 487 or 27 percent today on a very, very strong volume. It's now near the top of the long range channel as well. We're, no we're noticing a lot of that happening here. Um, but a price volume surge through here and the stock could spike up in the high 20s, maybe even low 30s. We look, it appears that a lot of stocks may be entering a the beginning of a blow off stage that could uh, see uh, stocks and, and indices uh, surge at this point in, into a top. We'll see what occurs. Um, Celdex, CLDX is next. Um, also in a tighter channel, but reaching near the top of the channel, up to 56% today, or 7.76%. Strongest volume in a couple months. Uh, and uh, matter of fact, it's the strongest volume we've seen this year, going back to June of last year. So, in any case, um, next target, uh, if we do get above this zone, is up around the $10 level, and that's what we'll be looking for um, on. CLDX. Delcat Systems, which we really like and have been trading lately, broke out several days ago and it's been trending higher ever, ever since to new all-time highs. Look at the weekly chart. You'll see how this stock has been blowing, I'm, I'm moving, and it's, it blew right through the top of the uh, channel with this gap and continues to edge higher. Looking for a move maybe that takes us to the 1920 zone. Dendrion had a spectacular session today. Uh, popped Training was halted. Um, stock gapped up again and ran up a total of uh, 1056 today on uh, news of the FDA approval of the drug, which we were expecting. Stock today reached my $50 target that I had set to, since back in um, uh, May of last year, and uh, that's, it's now run from 20 to 54 uh, just in the last nine or 10 months. GSIT, GSI Technologies. Doing very well of late, broke out of this big coil and has been running strongly. Had a little mini wedge recently and today popped out of that up 72 cents. But the more, more important key to that was it took out key overhead resistance going back a couple years and, and moved into all time high territory today. GTI Graph Tech uh, also had a significant session in that it not only broke out above recent highs but took out the December January highs, closing with a bang up 379. At 1726, this stock um, looks like it could be uh, higher going forward. We'll keep close tabs on it, and um, right, but right now the target looks like about the $20 level. Kerex, K-E-R-X, fantastic session today as well, up 69 cents on 5.4 million shares. The uh, wedge was broken. Strong volume breakaway uh, move that. Close right at its previous high in April. I move through here, and we're looking for a move to six and a half.
Mindspeed, MSPD, is doing very well of late. It popped two days ago and it's formed a little micro, little bull consolidation here. It looks like it wants to go higher. I got a $12.5 target short term, uh, 15 15 and a half more in immediate term. Posen, strong session today. Broke across double top here and spiked to $1.13 to close at $12.08, up 10% today. Right now, overhead resistance in the uh, f near the 14 and a half, 15 zone is my short-term trading target. Rate Financial, RAAS, big day today. Take a look at the base pattern it built over the last year and a half. That was broken. Secondary resistance is beckoning up around the five, five and a quarter zone. I, where that should be reached shortly. So, and uh, a more intermediate target would be around the $8 level. Transglobe Energy is our final stock today. Uh, this junior oil despite the pullback in some of the oil stocks recently, continues to motor ahead, having jumped from four to seven and a half just in the last uh, five or six weeks, and today up another 29 cents or 4%. On top of the channel, at this point, looks like about eight and a half, uh, maybe eight and three quarters. That's our next short-term trading target. Here's some ideas for you. We will talk to you over the weekend. Have a good Friday.